Hypixel Skyblock has come a long way since its inception in 2019, from a simple concept for a minigame to one of the biggest MMOs in Minecraft. A large part of this is due to the developers continuously pushing the limits of what is possible in Minecraft 1.8, but it's also due to the work done by the community, particularly in the form of mods. Mods are able to elevate the experience of players or make much of the game significantly easier and more efficient. Now, you don't need mods to play Skyblock. In fact, plenty of players play with no mods at all, and that's perfectly fine if that's the kind of experience you want to have in Skyblock. Recently, I started a new series on my channel called Skyblock 101, and that's brought a lot of brand new players to my channel. Whether you're one of those players that have no experience with Skyblock, or you're an experienced player that is just interested in mods, this video will go over how to install and get those mods up and running. If you're not entirely sure what mods to go for, I have a video on this topic as well. You can feel free to reference that video or watch that video first and then come back to this video for the installation process. Now, this video is going to be divided into a few chapters. First off, I'm going to go over briefly my personal mods, the mods that I use when I play Skyblock. I'm not going to go super in depth because like I said, I have gone over this in other videos in the past. I also want to talk about some security concerns that you want to keep in mind during this entire process. And then finally, we'll go over how to install the actual mods. So this is my personal mods folder. My favorite mods that I have are probably chat triggers, uh, not enough updates, Optifine. I use orange is simple mod for the auto sprint. Patcher, which is really nice for disabling uh, block breaking particles. I use replay mod for video stuff. Uh, Skyblock add-ons is just like general Skyblock features. Skyblock extras and, and um, Skytills are pretty similar to each other. They're probably two of my favorite Skyblock mods. So highly, highly recommend those two. Um, everything else is kind of optional or more catered towards your personal experience, but these are some pretty general mods that I think almost everyone will have in their mods folder. So definitely look into uh, these first. And then if you want to customize your experience even more, you can start looking into other mods. This next section is going to go over how not to get your account stolen, something I refer to as ratting, which stands for remote access token. It sucks that I even have to talk about this at all, but it's become such a big issue in the community that I feel like it's important to mention in any video that covers mods for Skyblock. I also think it's important that as a creator, I bring attention to this for the newer players who are probably most likely to fall victim to ratting. Ratting occurs when you install and run a mod that has a token logger or other process that is able to give attackers your information, such as the credentials to your Minecraft account. Usually, ratters will disguise their malicious files by passing them off as well-known mods, such as Skytills or Skyblock Extras, and at a surface glance, these files might look the exact same. But once you run your game with the malicious mod installed, your account details and sometimes sensitive info like bank accounts or addresses can be leaked to the attackers. And it's also very, very illegal, but unfortunately, there's not much we or the admins can really do about it other than raise awareness. Typically, ratters will then access your Skyblock account and then sell your items for real life money. Now, I understand chasing the bag. It is one of the three fundamentals of life, but have these guys heard of something called a job? In short, you should be very aware of what you're installing. Triple and even quadruple check that you're installing mods from the proper locations and never install anything that someone else sends you, even if it's from a friend, as they could be compromised too. There's also a lot of videos on YouTube of people duping on Skyblock and inviting you to join a server where you can also dupe by installing a duping mod. I can't believe I have to even say this, but don't, don't do that. You can also get ratted by verifying in sketchy Discord servers. You will never, ever have to verify in a Discord server by logging into your Microsoft account. That's just not how it works. For example, in my server, to verify, you just click this. That, that is it. That's all you have to do to verify. Overall, just be careful. It's a cruel world out there. Now we're going to go over how to actually install these mods, but before we get into that, I need my Taco Bell money. So this video is sponsored by One State. One State is a free-to-play role-playing game available on mobile devices that takes place in LA where you can be whatever you want. A cop, a criminal, or just a delivery guy. While I was playing, I met this random player who decided to start a fight with me for literally no reason. We tussled for a bit before we both got hit by a car. And now we're best friends. There's a lot more to do in one state too, like becoming a soldier and protecting the city or starting your own gang and competing with other organizations. You can get rich in whatever way you want and buy exotic vehicles to cruise around the city in, where every person is a real player. If this sounds interesting to you at all, you can download the game with my promo code from the description or pinned comment down below. Thanks again to One State for sponsoring this video. 
Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. There was a time, a time long, long ago, back when I still lived with my parents before college, where I wanted to play Skyblock really late into the night. But there was no way my Asian mother was going to allow me to do that. So what I'd do was I'd play Skyblock during the day on my PC, and then at night I'd play Skyblock in secret on my junky laptop. This laptop ran Skyblock at about 20 frames per second, and what's crazy is some of my earlier Skyblock videos were actually edited in part on that junky laptop. The point I'm trying to make is that I relate to having to use a potato computer. I know that struggle because I went through that struggle, which is why I'm going to have an installation process for potato PCs and then a regular installation process for everyone else that can actually run Minecraft adequately. If you have a computer that already struggles to run Minecraft, I'd consider looking into Lunar or Bad Lion Client. I don't usually recommend these clients because they're not great, they're okay at best, but they're just way worse than Forge. You also give up a lot of customizability, and they're also just limited in nature. Also, you'll probably get made fun of for using Lunar or Bad Lion, but being made fun of is just part of the Skyblock experience. These clients prioritize FPS because they're actually PvP-focused clients that just happen to have a few Skyblock features. If you don't need a lot of modification to your game, you might be content with what Lunar or Bad Lion has to offer. They do have a few good features, and they're not bad, they're just not great but there's very minimal setup required and you can be up and running just by launching your game through the client. So I have Lunar Client here open. I'm gonna use it to demonstrate the Potato PC installation, but the process is basically the same for Bad Lion. Just install the client, run the application, it'll download the launcher, and then I'm just gonna launch 1.8.9, I'm logged in. So now we have now we have Lunar Client open or Bad Lion, c.hypixel.net. As you can see, we're here in high pixel 1.8 and then now i think it's m okay so yeah m and you go to mods and then it's sky block and then all of the sky block features that you'll want will be in this category right here high pixel sky block which is disabled right now enable i'm not too familiar with what kind of features lunar has but you can explore this on your own turn on the ones you want pretty basic not a lot but they do help a little bit. Yeah, they have like floor seven terminal solvers. They have dungeon secrets. They have map overlay. That's really, really good, honestly. So, you know, pretty general stuff, basic, but definitely is better than nothing. Finally, we get to my own preferred way to install Skyblock mods, and that's through a program called SkyClient. Despite the name, it's actually not a client at all. It's just an installation process. Okay, now we're on SkyClient. This is my preferred method for installing Skyblock mods. And if you have a computer that can handle it, I highly, highly recommend using SkyClient, which like I said before, it's not a client. It's just an installation process. Um, but you're just gonna go to skyclient.co, download uh, recommended installer. And it's a big, big download button. You just click it. It'll download the .exe file. Now, this is where you can customize what kind of Skyblock mods you want. Definitely check uh, Updater. That will allow SkyClient to update your mods by themselves. Um, Optifine. Definitely want Optifine. Helps you with FPS and performance. Patcher. Really nice. Crash patch is really nice as well. If you crash, it tells you what caused the crash so you can fix it. Uh, Replay mod is really nice if you're a YouTuber. Replay mod is cool. Um, Skyblock add-ons. Is recommended not enough updates recommended sky tills definitely definitely recommend sky tills dungeon rooms if you need secret waypoints you know i, I go i go over all of this uh, all, all these different mods in the dedicated mods video so if you're interested you can go ahead and take a look at that but you know you can pick any mods you want texture packs these are the texture packs just pick whatever um you can sort by all sky block and then you just click install sky client i'm not going to click it because i already have sky client installed but you will click install sky client you open up your minecraft launcher and it should just be down here with all the other profiles it'll say sky client 1.8.9 forge you have sky client installed now if you want to add more mods so if there's a mod that sky client doesn't have or you didn't install it you want to add mods whatever you're just going to go into percent data percent which is where you go for Minecraft, you're gonna go into dot Minecraft, and then usually the mods folder is here, but Sky Client makes its own folder. So you're gonna go dot Minecraft and then Sky Client, and then you're going to go to mods. Mods are right here. If you need to install a mod, just drag the, the dot jar file into this folder. If you need to install texture packs, it's also right here, uh, should be under resource packs. 
drag the .zip file into this folder and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. Percent update a percent dot Minecraft sky client. Your mods folder is here. Texture pack folder is here. Very simple.